Hi everyone, this is Shantae. So welcome to another Instagram TV analysis on the news. I'm not going to be long-winded because I am tired. I was working on a project, ugh, good grief, that's due on Tuesday, like a mini report, and I'm tired as all hell and sleepy as all hell. So hey to everyone that's logging on. So I'm just going to get to it real quick because I'm tired. So according to the John Hopkins University and Medicine website, a global confirmed cases are 122,233,100. No, okay. 122,233,417 cases of COVID. Um, and the death toll is 2,700,128. Now, the U.S. confirmed cases is at 29,726,580. The death toll is at 541,092. So, again, the U.S. death toll is at 29,726,580. And the death toll is at... Oh, I read the confirmed cases, and the death toll for the U.S. is at 541,092. And that's that. You can go on the website and look on it yourself. J-H, is it coronavirus.jhu.edu. Now, I just want to get to some of the federal response in regards to COVID. 100 million people in this country so far has been vaccinated. So if you are available to get your vaccinations, do. If you are allergic to certain medicines, I encourage you to consult with your doctor. I will be having my doctor's appointment um, next month, and I'm going to ask my doctor which one is the best to take because there's three vaccines available. There's the Moderna, there's the um, Pfizer, and then there's the Johnson & Johnson. So there's three vaccines that is out right now that you can take. I believe one is like a second dose, and I think the Johnson & Johnson is just only one dose. So if you can consult with your doctor, if you're allergic to certain medicines, I suggest you to do that so this way you will have a good perception and when you go you're not nervous and when you take the vaccine you still have to wear your mask because the CDC has not cleared us yet if we can stop wearing our mask and honestly I believe and I have said this last year that we're going to be wearing our masks up until 2022 people are like why because it is what it is oh Moderna's Pfizer yet yeah, yeah thank you Joseph Whew, his there's vaccines that are out, so please take those vaccines. Um, they are pointing, I believe, there's the Moderna, Pfizer, and then Johnson Johnson. Yeah. And it seems like it's working because I believe no one didn't really get sick yet so far that I know that they took their vaccine. But you never know. That's why I say consult with your doctor first before you even go and take your vaccine. Because I'm going to ask my doctor which one is going to be best for me. Even though they probably say it doesn't matter, but I have allergies. I probably need to go to an allergist too, so I can see which stuff that I am allergic to. So that would be great as well. Now in terms of this week's politics, I am so sick of it. Like I have withdrawn myself a little bit from the politics because I've been focusing on this report that I have to do, these operational definitions and this written stuff. But all I know is... I am letting, oh, thank you, Joseph. I mean, thank you, Robert. I'm sorry. I'm letting this investigation play out perfectly. Um, I have no qualms. I have nothing really to say in regards because even though I've been harassed, but I've never been assaulted. So I am letting AG James and the state assembly to do their jobs. I have nothing further to say. If you want me to go on a whole little rant about it, I'm not because I'm just letting people do their jobs. And even with the Republicans being accused of sexual harassment, sexual assault, I have nothing to say on that neither because there's no investigation. As they are, they let the investigations play out because the more you say stuff, the more hard the investigations to be and the more long the news cycle will be. When there's other things going on, like a third wave of coronavirus is about to hit our our country real quick because Italy already had their lockdown. I mean, they are in lockdown right now. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, Robert, for letting me know that. Now, um, <clears throat> so I want to know, did everybody get their stimulus checks? 
because I got mine and I'm doing the right thing with mine and um, let's just say um, I'm saving half of my money because I don't know when I'm going to run into another rainy day I don't know when is the next time I will able to have some money but I am looking for a job and I believe I have an opportunity that's um, presented to me I just got to look at it I know some people did not get their stimulus I believe some people in my family did not get their stimulus um, yet don't know what's going on hopefully there's no Trump knuckleheads still in the Treasury Department because they all need to go in my opinion once Janet Yellen I hope she is considering firing some people from the Treasury Department because if a lot of people didn't get their money that's a problem and another problem with this is the Senate you have a Joe Manchin on the Democratic side who don't want to give people stimulus because they're um, illegal immigrants. They work just like we do. They pay more taxes just like we do. I don't understand what the problem is. Like I, I, I really don't. Why people not getting their stimulus. But there's a lot of people that's been left out in the dust. That people that need their money. A-S-A-P. There's people that need to keep a roof over their head. There's people that need to keep some type of stability. Some type of integrity. Right? Not saying money fixes everything. But money is a step to, you know, doing things to survive. And nowadays, you need money to survive. You need necessities in your house to eat, to feed your family. It's important. And some of these people that work in Congress that make almost $200,000 a year, and they get paid during shutdowns, don't seem to understand that shit. Like a Joe Manchin, or like a Lindsey Graham, or like a Raphael Cruz, or like a Joshua Hawley, or a Ronald Johnson, you know, a Sydney High Smith. Like, they don't seem to, to understand that shit. And all the Republicans that voted against it but then want to take credit for this, you guys are nothing but bums. Straight up losers. Because your constituents are poor and they need that money the most and you decide to vote against it. Like, what kind of human being are you? Let's, let's take off the politics about it. It's not about Republican and Democrat. It's about Americans. It's about us as Americans so we can get a step ahead. So we can get a leg up. This money was to make sure that people could pay their rent. Because this is their first check they have seen since that little bit of money of $600 to people. And it might be another round of a relief check because there's going to be another round of stimulus money coming up. A theater or a, 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 um, a Senate session near you or a congressional session near you. Because people are still going to need some, some relief. This shit ain't, ain't going away. It's not. It's, it's just, it is what it is. Right? Because it's the truth. But there will be more conversations about, you know, the Republican Party, the party of quote unquote Lincoln, conservatism, globalism, pro life party, grand old party. Because I always said it, and I've been saying it since I was young, but I couldn't say the curse word, but now I can. They ain't shit. The Republican Party went from the party of the people during the um, Lincoln years, which is like a, over 150 years ago, to the party of the Lily Whites from Hoover to the party of conservatism, globalism. Grand old party. Fiscal hawks. To the party of Donald John Trump. And all his baggage. So there you have it. Now. My last topic. So. I 
said something about, you know, progressives. I was keeping it real. I said, these following progressives will go through some things. And I list Ryan Knight, Rihanna Gray, Mr. David Serrata, Marianne Wilson, Crystal Ball, Jank Uger, Anna Kasparin. There's a whole litany of them. But I list the ones that came into mind. And of course, some of the blue check allies and their online non-factor allies decided they want to troll my little comments. Normally, I will go back and forth and say, oh, screw you, fuck you, and everything. But no need. I had a really good day. I was doing my homework, even though it got on my nerves. Um, excuse me, no, my project. I went to the store. I got me some coffee, ate me some little McDonald's, treat myself to little McDonald's, and watched my RuPaul Drag Race. I wasn't worried about them. I saw Brianna Gray and David Serrata. They tweeted my stuff. I guess they searched for their names because they really are not factors because if you were really that pressed, if you wasn't, excuse me, if you wasn't that pressed, if you wasn't that pressed, why would you quote my tweet and then try to report me and then block me? You know who you are. Why would you want to, you know, be so mad? Why are you so mad? Why are you mad, son? Are you mad because you're getting called out for being trolls that you are? I didn't call your names. I didn't come for your looks. I didn't degrade you. I said what I said. Y'all going to be going through some things. Y'all going to be going through some things because, one, you've been trolls for the last four to five years. You've been attacking black people online and offline. Y'all have said things about black voters. Y'all called us dumb, pretty much. You said stuff about the vice president. You came for her race. You came for her record. You came for her family. Yeah, you came for her mother. Y'all came for her. And now y'all y'all getting mad because I put out a list and said y'all be going through y'all gonna go through some things. They didn't even at y'all. Like I didn't even tag y'all on a Twitter post. Cause why? I feel like there's no need to. I ain't trying to argue with her. I'm telling the damn truth. My whole feed ain't about y'all. Because y'all motherfuckers is non-factors. Y'all don't pay my bills. I'm not fucking y'all. I'm not. I don't go on your 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 page and, and, and screenshot your tweets and then tweet about y'all. Like, y'all niggas ain't really, like, y'all bums. You guys make money off for basically criticizing the Democratic Party. And you're, you're, you're conning all your fans. Who probably got their stimulus checks and now they got to pay their Patreon uh, membership fee just to listen to y'all motherfuckers. I don't have to. Because why? Because I'm not dumb. And I'm not in the sunken place. If you know what I mean. But, basically, so Brianna Gray and David Serrata, they quoted my tweet and Marianne Wilson, you know, went in and basically said, Kamala Harris, you condone this. First of all, she's the vice president. She don't care. Nobody attack y'all. She was bringing that Karen energy in, in my shit. And, you know, people did check her. And people, you know, thousands of people like her shit. You know, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. But I'm not going back and forth with these motherfuckers. I'm not because I'm living my life. I'm single in New York in my house. Paying rent that's less than $1,000. Got my stimulus money. Looking for work still. Things are looking up. I'm not mad and I'm not pressed. And you know why I'm not attacking them? Because I know I'm going to sleep well at night. I am. And there's a possibility, hopefully, one of these days is safe enough to get some dick. Because a girl haven't had no dick since September 2019. Yes, I'm telling my business. I had no, no sex since 2019. Because why? Because I haven't found a man who will appreciate all of this. And 2020, you couldn't really have sex with nobody because it was COVID. And I, didn't, I don't live with nobody. I live by myself. 
And I'm being cautious and trying not to get COVID. And all the men that want to come, you know, in my DMs pretty much, you know, or come to my house. You've been around a lot of people. No. But anyhow, besides my, you know, my love life, I am content. I am happy. And so I don't care what Brianna Gray say. She can say things on her Bad Faith podcast with the other dude. And David Serrata can get mad and, you know, start saying stuff, you know, about me saying I'm Blue Maga and shit like that. But I don't care. Because while you guys are trying to find the next grift to do, I'm actually completing my master's degree. And, um... To get a job, okay. I was talking about how you know Brianna Gray and David Serrata, you know, quoted my tweet saying that I am, you know, I need to be reported, I am harassing them. Which I'm like, I don't harass nobody. That wasn't even harassment. Harassment is basically saying, like, these are jackasses. And they need to be banned from this. Or better yet, my, my thing is, uh, if I was harassing people, I would have actually DM'd them, at them, went inside their, their tweets and started really doing some harassment and started embarrassing them and pull out their, old, their whole entire history, calling David about a whole entire racist, which I did before. He blocked me. And um, with Brianna Gray, I never embarrassed her because... She's a non-factor in my life. And obviously, she is a non-factor. Yeah, the two biggest grifters. So, folks, if you walked in. So, Brianna Gray and David Serrata quoted my tweet after I saying, these progressives will be going through some things. I guess they are going through some, some, some shit, some real shit. And, you know, and I pray that, you know, they get cleansed in the blood of Jesus. But, um... They quoted my tweet basically calling me a, a horrible person and, and I'm harassing them. So let me just explain this to you. I'm not harassing nobody. I'm telling the truth. They are, you know, Twitter trolls. And they will be going through some things because they have disrespected, like I said, black people. They disrespected um, Kamala Harris's voters as well. They disrespect the vice president. They even disrespect Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, they disrespected a whole bunch of people. And, of course, the president. They disrespect him. So, and I keep forgetting. They disrespected Barack Obama. And they disrespected John Lewis. You think people really wasn't going to come for your juggler? You lucky people not calling y'all motherfuckers and assholes and shit like that. People just say, you're going to go through some shit. Yeah, they are Twitter trolls. They, they're going to go through some shit. So, Brianna Gray and David Serrata, this is towards y'all. I don't care about y'all. You guys are non-factors. You guys search for yourselves after not being tagged in the post. But you search for yourself to search for your names and quote in my tweet because I told the truth. I guess it really hurts to know that you guys are really repenting on the shit that you have done to people within the last four to five years on Twitter. And God ain't pleased with your shit. So that's why you're going to go through some things, as I said. And I see it's hitting a nerve. It's touching your soul. I suggest that you read, um, you know, a daily um, devotions. If you're religious or not, maybe you can get right with yourselves. Because God ain't pleased. And to Miriam Wilson... All that spirituality you're talking about, you can use it on yourself. Maybe you could pray for your friends in the name of Jesus. You can get on your knees and talk to the universe. Talk to whoever you worship. Because God ain't pleased with you neither. You may look good in front of people, but we all know who you are behind closed doors. And we hope. That you use your spirituality and, and, and bless it upon you. Have some sage around you in the name of Jesus. And, and start doing your Ricky healing. Okay? Cousin, there are people on Twitter that you don't want to know. They are the burning losers. But, um... Two. 
David Serrata, Brianna Gray, and Marion Wilson. Pray harder. Because God forgives people who sin. And God will take you through some things to humble you. And I hope you will be humbled one of these days. But until then, folks, thank you for this live, this short live. You have a good night. And you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until then, peace and blessings. And wear your mask. And wash your hands.